Hello guys, it's your boy Edgy Machine here and today we're going over the best blue loadout for around $100. Now if you haven't seen the last one, it was the red loadout for $100, go check that out. It's going to be linked at the top right here and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. To start this list off, we have the USPS Blueprint in minimal wear condition. You can get it for around $2.82. On the T side, we have the Glock 18 Blue Fission in minimal wear condition, and you can get that skin for around $1. In my opinion, a very nice looking skin, and it's dark blue, so it fits the loadout. If you're on a strong budget, I'd recommend you buy the dual Berettas Cobalt Quartz and Factory New because they only cost 26 cents. But if you have like one more dollar to spend, you could also go for the dual Berettas Urban Shock in Factory New. Very nice looking skins. The P250 Valens in Factory New is a pretty common skin, it costs 76 cents in Factory New and fits our loadout very well. Now I couldn't actually find a blue 57 skin, so I just decided to go with the Forest Knight in Factory New condition for 11 cents because I think that this skin fits in the most. It's not anything special, but still, it has a bit of bluish tones, so I guess it kind of fits in there somewhere. Now on the T side, we have two options for the Tech 9. Either you choose the Tech 9 Blue Titanium in Factory New for 70 cents, or you go with the Tech 9 Titanium Bit in Factory New conditions for the exact same price. And if you are the ZZ player, then I have the Poison Dart Minimal Wear here for you, which costs around $1.07. Now if you have a bit of extra money to spend, I'd reckon you buy the Desert Eagle Cobalt Disruption for around $10. But if you don't have that much money, just go ahead and buy the Desert Eagle Midnight Storm in Minimal Wear for around $3.29. In my opinion though, the Desert Eagle Cobalt Disruption fits better to this loadout. It was hard to find a blue Farmers, but in the end I decided I'll take the Farmers Exane in Factory Unique Edition for $1.46. Again on the T side we have two options, either you're going to take the Galil Blue Titanium and Factory New for 42 cents or you're going to take the Galil um, Stone Cold and Field Tested for around 86 cents. The m 1 s Nightmare Minimal Wear is definitely my favourite skin on this list and only costs $10. Pretty nice looking skin, not much more to say about that. There's not really a blue skin for the M4A4 but I figured you can use the Dragon King or the X-Ray because they have a bit of blue on them. So in fact you knew they are around the same price, both going for around $10, your choice. <laughs> 
The AK-47 Blue Laminate and Factory New is a nice looking AK skin and it's actually quite cheap for an AK skin. You can get it for around $6.74. This is my favorite scout skin and it actually fits the loadout so I might as well include it. It goes for around 290 in factory new condition. The Orc Aristocrat in factory new is actually not that common but it fits the loadout quite well and in factory new condition you can get this blue skin for only $2.03. On the T side we have the SG-553 anodized navy in factory new condition for 19 cents. Very clean skin, not much more to say. I decided to take the Yorp Sun and Leo factory new condition because it's relatively cheap with only $5.80 for an Orp skin. But if you have more money to spend, you could also go with the Yorp Manowar, which in minimal wear should be around $9.90 somewhere. For the most useless weapons in this game, we have the Azura Zebra skin in fact you knew for around 40 cents and the Blueprint skin for around 23 cents. Coming to the SMGs, we have the MAC-10 Lapis Gator in fact you knew condition for around $2.82. The MP9 Pandora's box is an optional skin because it's very expensive and there are no other blue skins. So if you want to buy it, it costs $8 in a minimal wear and in fact you But if you don't want to buy it, just don't buy a skin for this weapon. For the MP7, we again have two options. You can either choose the MP7 Ocean Form and Factory New for $1.18, or you go with the MP7 Anodized Navy and Factory New for $0.24. There are not a lot of MP5 skins yet, but the co-processor actually is a blue skin and in a factory new it only costs you around $2.30. My favorite UMP45 skin is actually the Exposure, so I put it in the list here. In fact, your new condition it only costs 77 cents, so basically nothing at all. And it's a very nice looking skin that fits the loadout. The Rush B Suka Bleh model in fact you knew uh, is available for around 77 cents and is actually a very nice looking skin. PP Bison Blue Streak is probably one of the only good looking PP Bison skins and in fact you can get, you can get this skin for around $3.85. For the Nova I decided to take the Nova Moon and Libra factory new condition for 35 cents. The 
sadly there's no blue XM skin so I just decided to take the blue steel because it kinda looks blue and in fact we knew it only cost 15 cents so not that big of a loss. Now for the swag seven, I decided to take the Cobalt Core skin in Factory New. It only costs 26 cents, looks nice, and actually is quite cheap. The sort of Serenity isn't quite a dark blue, but I couldn't find any other sort of skin, so I just took the sort of Serenity in minimal air condition for 80 cents. The M249 might not be the prettiest out of all of them, but at least it got a decent amount of blue in it. The M249 shipping for us in factory new condition costs around 93 cents. You don't have to buy those skins of course because who the fuck uses the M249 anyway? And again for Tyler Wynn's favourite weapon, I chose the Man of War skin in minimal wear, which is the best condition you can get it in, for 12 cents. Now when it comes to the knives, it's pretty much your choice. You can take the Gut Knife Bite Warden Fuel Tested for $45 as you can see it right here. You could also take a uh, blue steel knife um, or you could take a flip knife Bite Water if you have a bit more money. But in the end it's your decision and um, it also depends on which knife skins you can find on various markets. Well that's it for this video, if you enjoyed it make sure to drop a like and also hit that subscribe button if you want to support me. Thank you again for 1370 subscribers, it's just insane how much my channel has been growing lately and I'm out, peace.